loves, if you're ready to make Christmas candy apples, I will be showing you in this video how I accomplished this look. They're so cute. It was not an easy journey, but it was super duper fun. So stay tuned and enjoy. Hi loves, welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Super excited. So obviously today guys we're gonna be making some candy yam i'm trying to make it like Christmassy. so let's get straight to it so first of all i did have to boil not boil like put these in hot water and leave them in the refrigerator so here's the process of cleaning your apples i did get the granite smith apples from publix only thing you have to do is bring the water to a boil a rolling boil you want to let the water sit for at least four minutes because you don't want to put the apples in when it's extremely hot so I set my timer to four minutes and then I place the apples in there for 10 to 15 seconds no longer than that here's some positive words for you guys all the news you receive will be positive and uplifting so just place the apples in there one by one and what you want to do is kind of use a spatula or whatever you're going to use to get the apples out you want to use that to fully coat the apples with the water and you want to count in your head or you can count out loud to 10 seconds 10 to 15 seconds and then once you have done that you take the apples out you dry them and you put them on a pan and then you stick them in the refrigerator this is what you're supposed to do for 48 hours so you can put them in the refrigerator for 48 hours or you can just put them in the refrigerator like i did if you want a one day thing for three to four hours so yeah so i'm just gonna finish drying these off because you want them to be super super dry only five came in an egg they do look a little brown but they're it's just because they have the wax is gone now so how that the apples are looking yeah, I'm excited to do this. Super excited. So the ingredients are supposed to be super, super easy. Sugar, corn syrup, vanilla extract, this white um, Wilton coloring, some food color like dye. But this stuff ended up being really cheap. I think I spent a good probably like $15 on everything. And I'm gonna coat it with sanding sugar. I have the green, the red, and the gold. Silicone spatula set, skewers parchment paper and then the olive oil is just I heard that like if you put a little bit at the bottom then the apples won't stick too hard I don't have a measuring cup I have my uh, my ninja blade cup and I'm gonna use this to measure out everything okay bowl and a pot that's all you need and a stove supposedly okay let's get down to business so you're supposed to have three cups of sugar um, eight ounces is one cup Eight times three is 24, so I need 24 ounces of this. So what I'm gonna do is fill it up to 20, oh, it has 24 ounces at the top. So I'm gonna fill this whole thing up with sugar. Whoa. All right, 24 ounces going in the pot. One cup of water, so it's gonna be eight ounces. Eight ounces, one cup of water. One cup of corn syrup. Come on now. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. That's a lot of corn syrup. It's only one, one cup. Dang! Like, the, the bottle is almost gone. What y'all think? Put two cups of syrup in one bottle? Y'all wrong for that. How many ounces is this? Oh. It is two cups. It's 16 fluid ounces. <laughs> 16 fluid ounces. So half a bottle, guys. Half a bottle. Okay, I didn't even need a measuring cup for that. I could have just eyeballed it. Right. So once that's all in there, you want to use your silicone spatulas, 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 and then you want to stir it up. Okay, so I, I have to clean this because I didn't clean it before. Just because it's new don't mean it's clean. That's all I'm saying. So let's get to stirring. So the goal is to continue to stir until everything is one consistency. Um, right now, everything is separated, but you will see eventually how everything comes together. So 
right, that's an even consistency. Pretty even for me. Look at that. I'm excited. I'm gonna put this on the stove to medium high. And you're supposed to have a thermometer, but I don't have one. So you're supposed to wait until it gets to 300 degrees. But I'm just gonna eyeball it. Let me go ahead and prep my pan. I'm gonna put the screws in. They still look a little moist. You see, you gotta make sure they're super dry. I hope they come out really pretty. Typically, when I do something the very, very first time, they come, it comes out really good. It's just afterwards, like trying to, <laughs> the second time. I don't know why, it's weird. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the screws in. Skewers. These are super long. Oh wait, let me take the stems out. So you just poke one hole. Oh gosh. Ooh. They make these look so much easier on YouTube. I don't wanna go all the way to the bottom. Oh, oh my God. I'm scared to go too far. I think that's good. These things are so long. I think I'm gonna cut them. Cause I was gonna try to like use one of these to make like a, make it pretty. Yeah, I think I can still do that, make it pretty like this. We'll figure it out. I wanna make it like Christmassy, so. But these are super long. I, I don't know. I already had these in the house and I wasn't gonna go buy anymore, but I can always cut them if need be. ready to eat these already. I'm gonna put these over here. I'm going to get the parchment paper ready. Alright, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on it. Just a little tad bit. So just a heads up guys, oil is not needed if you have parchment paper or a silicone mat. This is how it's looking. Look at the bubbly, 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 bubbly. So it's been about five minutes since the sugar has been on the stove, but this is not the consistency that you want. This is boiling too fast. So you want it to be a little bit slower and more like full and bigger. Um, you're gonna see that in the following clip. This is what you want as you can tell the difference. Um, so I left it on for a good, I want to say maybe 20 minutes, and then I did the test. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So the trick to knowing when it's ready, because I think it's ready right now, is to get some cold water and then put the, the syrup, and then if it hardens, that means it's ready. All right, so I have it on low right now, but um, I think it's definitely ready to go. It's definitely more caramelized. I put, I did the cold water trick and I feel like it's ready. I'm gonna put the um, vanilla extract. I got this from Dollar Tree in here. Okay, so maybe like, um, it's gonna pop, so you gotta be careful. Maybe like three of these. It's getting hard, like it's literally on top. So I need to hurry up, because if it, I mean, it's getting cold, I'm gonna have to probably turn the heat up a little bit. It's getting cold. Oh, there it is. Like it fell right on top, it's crazy. Oh, it smells good. All right, so I'm gonna take it off the eye, because I don't want it to burn. Let me move you guys over. All right. You guys can see that. So I got these two pots because I need to do three different colors. You got the full coloring, the white as the base. They don't really tell you how much to put in, so I'm just gonna put in until I see that it's white. I guess that's good enough. Oh, maybe that was too much. I think that was probably too much, guys. Hey, it's fine. It looks like paint. 
So I'm gonna put this back on the eye just for a little bit because it's getting hard. I'm 100% sure like, I'm probably gonna make a mess. I'm gonna try to transfer some of this to each, oh shoot, that's hot. So don't let it get on you because obviously it will definitely like get stuck to you and it might peel your skin off. I think when I was younger that actually happened to me. My mom used to make these things all the time. I probably should have just made two separate batches. I mean, three separate batches, but it is what it is. We, sh Ooh, we shall figure this out. Y'all, I don't think this is a good idea. That's not going to be enough. That's not going to be enough to dip anything in. It's like painting. Look at it. It's folding. Oh my God. This is such a bad idea. This was a fail. This was an epic fail. Oh my gosh. Oh, look, I'm making a mess. Y'all, this, I thought this was gonna be something simple, okay? It's not, let's see. Cause you want to be able to coat the entire apple. And I think this might be enough. So I'm gonna do green. Um, I have the green full coloring here. Oh gosh, I think that was too much. Ooh, pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need more. I'm gonna put this on the stove. Like, oh Jesus, why is squirting out like that? Oh god. Y'all help. Send help. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's getting hard. I'm gonna turn it up. This is so bad. Oh my gosh. I'm so mad. Okay, you know what? I need to be optimistic about this. Just let it warm up a little bit more so it can bubble again. I think that's how we'll have to break it down. All right, guys, we're back. I got it to melt again. This looks so much better. Okay, here's a tip for you guys. If you want your color to be darker, use a little bit of that white coloring. That white coloring is only a base so that your dye won't be translucent on your apples. Well, at least you know what not to do. So if you want to put like flavoring, you can do that. Michaels have like flavoring, I know for a fact, like Jolly Rancher flavor or whatever type of flavor you want to put in there. All right, I think this is good. All right, here we go. Dip. Oh gosh. Oh, it definitely has bubbles on here. It's not really um, coating the whole thing. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. All right. And shake, shake, shake. Okay. It did coat the top, top part like I really wanted to. And it has a bubble. Where is it? Yeah, it has a bubble right there. So. Uh, I mean, that's what it is, I guess. So you shake it. Okay, that is definitely not the green that I wanted. But it's cute. All right, let's do one more. I'm gonna try to get the top of it coated. Let's put it, bunch it all together like that. And just dip it. Oh, it's like it's burning. Come on, get there. Like, so that's why you have to keep the recipe so it can fully coat the apple.
My apples are pretty ugly actually, but it's fine. Like the actual shape of them, they're not perfectly round. That's not my fault. So I ended up getting a little green in here and I don't want it to turn blue because I am going to use yellow um, dye and then put the gold over it. I'm on medium high actually. And I'm going to use a different spatula. For this, I heard you're supposed to like fold it. This is orange. Oh my God, this says yellow. This is yellow and it came out orange. Oh my gosh. bubbles on it like this one this one like they got little bubbles on it i knew that because i did not set my apples out for 20, uh, 48 hours it's really not that much and i honestly think it looks pretty good for my first time doing it see like you see a few bubbles there but other than that it looks pretty good i'm actually actually very impressed okay for the sugar coating you have to put it over steam before you can dip it and coat it completely just so you guys can see the process, I am literally using decorations and I'm making um, decoration. I'm like decorating the apples with that. So now I'm gonna take this off of bell that I have and I'm gonna put it on the green one or should I put it on the gold one? I'm probably gonna put it on the gold one. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I just want you guys to see. It's looking good so far. Okay guys, so this is how they came out. I am obsessed. I ended up finding this in my cabinet. I forgot I had this last year as well from Dollar Tree. Y'all, Dollar Tree, we have a lot of stuff. You just gotta be creative with it. So this was some fake flowers from Dollar Tree. This is the little garnish stuff back there. This and these, both of these both came off of a bell that looks just like that. If you guys want me to show you exactly how I did it, how I connected it to make it stay and make it look pretty, then leave a comment down below and I'd be more than happy to do it. Okay guys, so this was a fun experience for me. I really enjoyed myself. I'm just sitting out here doing a little photo shoot with my candy apples. I think I did so good. I mean, it was a hard journey, but we got the job done and that's all that matters. So guys, I will see you guys in the next video for Vlogmas Day 7. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. Deuces. Thank you.